can you pour concrete over old, damaged, deteriorated concrete? And the answer is actually sometimes you can, but you got to be careful here because the new layer that you're pouring is only as good as the old layer that you're pouring over. And I mean, you're kind of working at a disadvantage here to begin with. Whenever you're adding new concrete to old concrete, this, this is a problem right from the, the get-go here. There is no way to add new concrete to old concrete without having a cold joint or a discernible plane of delamination between the two layers. I guess there's actually the one way which you can achieve that is shotcrete or gunite applications, just basically like high velocity concrete, you know, applied from like a shoulder mounted concrete cannon. And it basically sandblasts the surface of the old concrete with the velocity of in the impact of the new concrete being applied. And in that way, you can apply new concrete to old without having a cold joint. But every other application, including ones where you're using like bonding agents and things like that, making a concrete slurry, all of these still have a cold joint. So that's something that you have to be aware of is that you, you already have a disadvantage here that anytime you're trying to add new concrete to old concrete is that it doesn't really work that well. Even under all ideal situations, it doesn't really work well to add new concrete to old concrete. So if your situation is that your old concrete is all, like when, when I say deteriorating, could I take a screwdriver and could I start scraping up your old concrete and getting chunks, peas, things like that to come off? Because if you can, that's no good. That old concrete should be able to withstand a screwdriver like stabbed into it and no chunks or pieces really should be breaking off. That's how sound the old concrete needs to be if you want to pour new concrete over it. Or else what will happen is the new concrete's super strong, but the surface layer of that old stuff sucks. It's all weak and sandy and eroded. And as a result, the two will just likely delaminate. It's a plane for delamination. It's a weak joint, essentially. And no matter how good your new concrete is, is that old concrete is going to undermine the success and the longevity of the new pour that you're trying. So uh, since I'm raining on your parade here, at least let me toss a potential solution to you. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to chip away, break away, grind away some of that old concrete surface to the extent that you expose a suitable sound substrate, no longer this eroded surface. Like as water permeates through concrete, as water passes through concrete, it strips a little bit of the cement component, the original component that we made the concrete with. It's cement, sand, and gravel, and water mixed together, we make concrete. But over time, when it's exposed to water over and over again, we lose a little bit of that cement component each time. And it takes a long time, but after many, many years, the surface layer only has the sand and gravel left or primarily contains sand and gravel. Most of or a lot of the cement component has been stripped away, making it really weak and sandy such that I could take a screwdriver and scrape or grind away at it, which is not good. That indicates an in unsuitable substrate to attach new concrete over old concrete. So that's kind of the defining point for me is yes, you can apply new concrete over old concrete, even if it's older and deteriorated, so long as you understand it's always a problem when you're adding new over old. It doesn't really work 100%. Plus, if your old stuff is in really bad shape and eroded, sandy and weak at the surface layer, really the new layer is just going to, you know, debond and you're going to have a problem shortly. So the solution is to grind remove, use small chipping hammers, like they're jackhammers that are small, and create a 3D profile and chip out a lot of that old junk, that soft concrete surface, get down to something harder, stronger, that you can make a proper bond point to, and you can make a reasonably sound mechanical bond between new concrete and old concrete when you take those extra steps. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and we can learn a lot about concrete together.